Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Olson. Welcome to my shop today. It's my weekly shop update here for Friday, June 21st. So I want to roll through some things I've been working on this week. Um, it's thunderstorming outside right now, so hopefully you can't hear that in the video. My apologies. Um, so I uploaded, well actually I worked on a keepsake box and I uploaded a video onto YouTube earlier this week, I believe. And it is made from Cordesan Sycamore for the exterior here. It's got a um, veneered leopard wood panel and a veneered Sapili bottom panel here. And I went ahead and branded my logo on the bottom. It's got a uh, miter keys here. Those are mahogany and Brusa 103 stop hinges. They keep your lid open that far. They don't, you know, some hinges will allow your lid to fall all the way back. These keep them open. It's really nice. Got a nice little recessed little finger pole here. Closes real nice. Pretty happy with that. Like I said, there's a video on YouTube of how I made that. It's kind of long. It's like 26 minutes. <laughs> it's my first video I ever made, so. Yeah, I edited it down from like 50 minutes, so 26 isn't so bad, I would say. Um, I Oh yeah, um, I do have plans for that keepsake box. I put a link in the YouTube description, but if you guys are having problems viewing that, let me know. I do have a PDF here. Not sure how to make the PDFs uploadable for everybody, but I'm sure I can figure it out or somebody can tell me how to do it. Um, just straightforward plans here. Got the cover page, dimensions for the front and back, uh, the side dimensions, some of the joinery, which is pretty much just the grooves for the panels here. Um, what else we got? We got the top and bottom panels um, and some detailed like summary to help you along the way there. So you can find those on, I'll link it up uh, in the description to this build and add the plans in the description for that. All right, something else. What do we else we got going on here? Um, cutting boards, charcuterie boards. So I had some scrap uh, cherry laying around and I thought they would make some beautiful charcuterie boards. Oops, it's upside down. So these are cherry. This one has some bark inclusion, which is really neat. Um, it's Got some on the bottom side here too. Um, I finished it off with a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil that I made myself. And they are buttery smooth, which is real nice. So I've got these for sale on my website if you guys want to check those out. Um, well, on my Facebook website. So there's that and some cutting boards I also made. These are from Hard Maple. Yeah, it's an ingrain cutting board. It's got the juice groove running along with it. Again, finished with the same mineral oil beeswax finish I made myself. And these are also for sale on my Facebook page. And I'm also giving a free sample of my um, board butter, the mixture I finished it with. So you get a small free sample of that with the purchase of these. Um, rough dimensions, I can't remember. It's listed on my website, but I think it's about 15 by 10 and pretty close to one and three quarters, two inches thick here. Um, pretty heavy duty cutting boards. Really happy with the way these turned out. So again, you can find those on my Facebook page along with that charcuterie board and the uh, keepsake box here. And I did have, I think I uploaded a video earlier this week on the cutting boards and how I made those. You can go check those out. I'll put a link in the description for those. I did not shoot a video on the charcuterie boards because those are pretty pretty straightforward. Um, also, I did some cleanup on my uh, parallel clamps. Um, they had a lot of glue caked on them, so it was kind of getting hard to move the handle, so I thought it was time to Go ahead and clean those up, make them actually usable and not frustrating to use. 
I shot a really quick video on that and how I did that. I haven't posted that yet. I'll get that up soon, hopefully soon. <laughs> um, also, I've been working on a new project here. Um, it's called John Hall's Frame. And Mark Spagnolo did a um, article on this. Who popular woodworking in 2009, August of 09. So I'm going through that build following Mark's The Wood Whisperer, Mark Spagnolo's uh, article on that. Um, I'm making two. I'm making one in cherry and the other one in some mahogany. I figured you can't really do a green and green piece without using some mahogany. So, all the original was made in walnut, but yeah. So I've got templates I made here. You can find all those. Mark has a real detailed uh, PDF file. You can make your own templates for those, which is awesome. It's a little bit more complicated than I had initially thought. There's a lot of stuff going on here. These will get little puzzle pieces here. will get inlaid into the bottom. So look, what do we got the right side here? So it'll get inlaid here like that and we'll sit a little bit proud. It's a really interesting um, build. I'm excited to get that finished up. I am shooting a little bit of video on that. So when that's done, I'll have that up on the YouTubes for you guys. Uh, what else we got going on here? Um, shop maintenance. So. You know, it's summertime here in Iowa and it's kind of rainy. It's been rainy and it's super humid outside. So I noticed some of my tools were getting a little bit of rust spots, just little specks of rust all over, not all over, just here and there. So I had to nip that in the butt soon rather than later. So I used them. Um, I used a Scotch-Brite pad. I don't, I don't remember the grit. It's not, not too aggressive, but enough to get it off. Um, some mineral spirits, scotch brite pad, and I removed the rust. And then I coated it with T9 Bow Shield here. I really like this stuff. Um, I layer on a pretty decent layer and I let it sit overnight to let it build. And then I'll buff that out. I'll do that for the joiner, the planer, the bandsaw, and the table saw. And sometimes I'll do the hand planes here when they need it. Um, so I'll let that sit overnight and I'll take it off. I'll buff it off. And then I've been using a slick coat over top of that. And I've never used this before. And the first time was the other day. And I'm not sure what I think about it. Um, it says it reduces friction. You know, it works better than paste wax is what it says, but it leaves it leaves like a little film, like a white film on top. I'm not not too fond of that, although I don't think it affects the finish at all of the wood. Um, and it wipes right off too. So, although I will say this stuff, whew, man, it's got an odor, real strong odor. Um, I suggest wearing what are they, uh, a mask, vapor carpet, cartridge mask, because this stuff, it does not smell pleasant. It is, it, it is a foul odor. So there's that. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything else going on. My main focus right now is making the uh, picture frame here, John Hall's frame. Um, hopefully going to get the cherry one finished up later today. The cherry one's kind of my prototype for now. And once I get that, you know, finessed and figured out, we'll move on to the mahogany. And if I feel like it, maybe I'll make one out of walnut. But um, no promises kept there. So, yeah. I think that concludes it for this week. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.